Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a little bit of a different video for me. I've never filmed a video like this. Obviously, as we know, I do love a good haul and I've done many a haul on my channel before, but this one's actually a shoe, well, shoes and bag haul. Um, and I've honestly went a little bit crazy on Ego. Uh, I've got a big bag here, which you'll probably see in the thumbnail. Um, Honestly, it's the biggest bag ever. Uh, and then another pair came separately because I had to pre-order them. The reason I did this order was because of the um, Molly May collection. A lot of the ones I actually wanted were actually out of stock. I think there's only a couple of pairs in here from her collection. I can't remember which ones are which. Um, but that's the reason I did the purchase um, because I don't really have any heels that like, I actually like wearing. And I've seen so many like mule styles and different kind of shoes that I think look comfier. So I thought I'd give them a go, see if any of these like look nice on me and if they're comfy enough for me to wear that's why i bought a few different pairs because i did have a sale on i think it was like 50 to 80 percent off so i did obviously take advantage of that because i thought if i don't like anything i could send them back um but it saves me buying some buying a couple of pairs like half price not liking them and buying more for full price so yeah but before i jump into the haul i just want to show you a couple of bits that i picked up from pretty little thing Really random, I know, but it does link in with Molly May, um, and you'll see why in a second. So I thought I'd just try it, throw it in here because I want to show you guys, but it's not enough for me to do a haul just on that stuff. So, first of all, it's just this belt. It's just a random mention because this has got nothing to do with Molly May. Um, but this is a seat belt, like tape style belt that I picked up, and it's um it's called the Pretty Little Thing Monochrome Seat Belt buckle tape belt and this is in the size small to medium um, and it's like black and white so it's got like black and white and then white and black on the other side so it's reversible and it's like the little airplane seat belt style buckle and honestly this I didn't really I didn't think about like oh I didn't know if, that, if I'd like it that much and um, but when I put it on this is the perfect belt for me because obviously you just kind of pull it as tight as you need it and for me like I always find proper belts with buckles never fit me when I want to have them in my waist um but yeah so I actually might order a few more of these like plain black plain pink like whatever um just to kind of have with outfits because I feel like they're comfier they're stretchy so if you you know put it on with an outfit and then you go out for dinner and you're a little bit bloated you can just loosen it a little bit um but yeah I absolutely love that I think it was like six or seven pounds in the sale as well so I thought I'd show you guys that in case you're interested in seeing what the quality is like they're really really nice quality and yeah I thought that was quite different but I think they look really cool and I think that would be really helpful for outfits um but then linking with money mate I've wanted this for so long and you would have seen me talk about it in my vlogs previously as well where i said that i wanted it it's an out of stock and i'm sure you can guess because it's been a pretty little thing is the filter by molly may tan it's probably a little bit washed out there um as you can see so i picked this up in the extra dark i love that it comes like this little like um cardboard tube and then you just open it up and in there you get the tan now i've not tried this out yet i'm going to try it tonight i think so i was going to wait um and try it out like in a week's time for the bank holiday weekend um which is in two weeks time but i was going to try it out in that week but i thought if i don't like it that'd be pretty bad so i'm going to try it probably tonight or tomorrow um and see how it goes and what the colors like because this is the extra dark she actually does do a medium i think medium dark and extra dark um but obviously i've got extra dark because I always get that in my tan now. I used to have the Bondi Sands. I used to use that in dark. And then I got the extra dark. Changed my life. And then Saint Tropez. I always use the extra dark in that. So yeah. I thought I'd just pick that up. And I think it's about £24. Something like that. Which isn't that bad to be honest. Because my Saint Tropez is £34. And I got that off this guy a couple of months ago in the sale. But yeah. This is cheaper. I'm not sure on the sizing of the Saint Tropez one. But I've heard really good things about Molly's tan and I really wanted to try it. So now it's finally back in stock and I thought I'd pick it up. And then I also picked up the um the tan mitt. It's called the Velvet Tanning Mitt and it's one of those ones with the thumb. So I've never actually had a mitt like this with a thumb on it, so I don't know if that's going to be easier or I don't know, but I'm going to give it a go. Really excited to use it. I said to my sister that she's lucky she gets to use it on my back when she does my back. She absolutely hates it, but you know, and this was actually £10, which is a little bit pricey. I wouldn't tend to spend that on a tan mitt, but honestly, I just thought, well, it looks really nice and honestly, it is really soft. So 
actually good and tan mitts last me forever like I just I keep them longer than I should to be honest but you know right I've just wasted so much of your time talking about that um so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the shoes and the things in there talk through it and then I'm gonna do like um I'm gonna film them I'm gonna try them on and try and do like a film of the try on if I can because I need to figure out how to get you guys that low on the ground um and try the bits on for you and either do like a cut in or I'll do it separately in the end um but I'm gonna open up the bag and just pull bits out and show you what I got so so before i show you the shoes i actually picked up two bags now ego do so many bags which i never knew well i i have known recently but i didn't know they did them i don't know how long they've been doing bags for but i do loads of like designer inspired bags they do um like a one of these i think is similar to the louis vuitton pouch yet. um yeah the other one that i've got like similar to prada they do um even louis vuitton like the czech style bags like that Go check it out because honestly they do so many and they look really really nice so i thought i'd give two a try now these are colorful bags because i've got quite a few standard bags that i use a lot and i just thought i'd give these a go again they had a sale on so this blue one and um, i'll get it out the bag in a minute but we'll see it's blue <laughs> this was called let's have a look okay so this is called the sky purse and chain detail shoulder bag in blue nylon so this is a Prada inspired bag I want to say um, okay it looks smaller than it actually looked online which is a bit concerning and it also looks a little bit different but am I just being crazy right let me just open it up because there's the pouch inside I feel like this looks different to where it looked like online but like the shoulder it's not really one that you could put on your shoulder you know so I kind of clip that on and open this right and you also get a really long chain in here. So this is how it looks on the website. I mean I guess it is similar. I just I'm not really living for it. I just feel like it's really small. Um it doesn't say like mini bag on there either, it just says shoulder bag. Um I think it's cute, but okay. Either way, I can't figure this bag out at all, so I'm just gonna take these little bits off because to be honest, I'm probably gonna send this back because only the reason is that the inside of the bag is like it's, it's a good size bag but the zip space isn't really enough but well, i could probably get my phone in there but i can't get my phone in there sideways so for me that's a little bit annoying that's really annoying because i thought this looked really really cute online um that's really a bad start to the video uh but that was 19.99 and it was reduced from 39.99 i mean i would never pay 39.99 for that <laughs> But for 19.99 it's not too bad but i just yeah i'm not loving that so i'm just gonna put it all back in the packaging because i'm gonna send that one back which is a shame but i'll have a look what the next one looks like because it does have some really really cute bags on there and they do some really cool different bags as well so i thought i'd give them a go but yeah so that's a bit of a shame so the next one is this pink one now this one is called the Kayla mini purse detail cross body bag in pink nylon so let me get this one up now this one looks a little bit different it's more like a camera bag style um and it looks like this so i thought that was really cute again 19.99 for that down from 39.99 so again not too bad I love the colour of this, first of all. How stunning is that colour? It's really, really bright. I think on camera it's coming off a little bit lighter, but look at that. That is such a stunning colour. As you all know, pink is my colour, so. So this, again, has got a really, really cool strap like this, a bit similar to like the seatbelt style bag and then i don't know what you do with these things can someone tell me how these are meant to work because i don't get it are you meant to like i don't i'm gonna have to figure that out with the picture but so you've got that and you've got like a little pouch here which would just be handy for like i'm not sure really what i'd fit in that <laughs> lipstick uh charger headphones I don't know. I don't know. We're going to make it work. I really like this bag, to be honest. Um, and then I clip 
that on there i guess and then you've got a little front pocket as well this would be really handy for going out and about because i could fit quite a lot in there it's quite big in the middle there so you can fit like your camera your phone um, i could fit like a spare battery and things in there um, and again it's got like this strap at the back so you can make it like a belt bag um with this strap or obviously you can just do it like a normal cross body so i probably will do that i really do like that one so that's a win i think that's really cute and that's just something different you know i love bags and shoes <laughs> um, but yeah that's a little bit different for me it's not i usually have like mini bags or like a couple pound bag so that's a really cute one i like that a lot I keep your eye out on my Instagram for like the bag for my bags and stuff because I can't really try them on for you. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that back in the dust bag actually. So these are slippers inspired by the UGG slippers, I'm guessing, um, because UGG are the ones that did these first. So they're just like these gorgeous like faux fur, like slider style slider style slipper with the strap on the back um, and they are white i know people think why would you get white slippers because they're just going to get gross but i find like white is the comfiest color i know that sounds dumb but like when i get <laughs> in the winter i want something like cozy and warm i want to be white like my dressing gown's white um I'll put it on my foot so <laughs> you can see that it does actually fit which is really really cute and um, i thought they weren't going to fit to be honest but they do uh, right, so moving on to the shoes, I'm just going to grab them. I have tried a pair on already, but they're under there, so I'm just going to grab them. So here is the first pair. These are called the Nude Freestyle. Oh, there is my socks are in. Okay, it's fine. There's a pair of socks in here. So I was panicking then. I think I was going to have to message them and be like, ah, they've been really helpful. I had an issue with the shipping. Really helpful. Okay, so these are the Freestyle Nude mules now these are i'm not sure i think these might be in molly's collection and um, but they've got the gorgeous like pyramid heel and they've got this oh sorry but the kilos they've got this strappy detail all across the front now for me the reason i wanted ones like this i'm, I'm not sure about these ones because the straps on the front of them on the front of shoes always like pinch my toes because they're too tight and they're not stretchy this one doesn't feel super stretchy but i'll try it on because if they pinch at all then i just won't keep them because when i walk you know like the toes like kind of move forward as you walk they just pinch so much on me and that's what i struggle with mostly with heels so i'll try them on and see how they get on but they are really cute um and i really did some nude heel but these are 14.99 so pretty good and again it's got the square toe there but again i'll show you them on but they look really cute so next i've got these big banks diamond detail thong heel mule they're called and these are in a size six again i got them all in a size six um, and these were 9.99 the reason i got these is because you guys literally a flip-flop in a heel which is perfect for me because like i said i don't like heels that literally suffocate my feet because my feet get hot and then I can't walk in them so they look cute but I think my toes may be too wide at the front for them I'm going to try I'm going to try them on properly and try walking in them and see what they're like because they do look cute but I just feel like my foot is a little bit big for them I could maybe even try sizing up but I mean don't know if that would work but how gorgeous are they my sister was like uh, oh do you want flip flop here so I was like comfort <laughs> um, so you've got a gorgeous diamonty heel and then you've got diamonties all on there i just think they'd be really cute and just comfy even nice for holiday to be honest like wearing a nice flip-flop but a heel win-win okay so next are the highland barely there square toe mules again these were 19.99 and these are pink so again why do you think i got them Again, not too sure about this because of this strap at the front. I'm not sure how stretchy that is. I need them to be stretchy, like elastic, so they'll move. Don't think this has much movement in it, but I'll try it on because if it's not super tight, it should be fine. This has got like the flat heel, like a thin heel, but it kind of goes all the way across. It's like a block heel, but it's, you know, not a block. <laughs> so it looks like that again, the square toe. I just really wanted some really cute pink heels. I do have some nice pointed toe pink heels but they don't go with everything so i thought these would be super fun even with like a pair of jeans and a cute pink top it'd be 
unreal so again 19.99 for those and again these are the ones that i tried on these are definitely from money made collection and i think these are called the knockout pretty sure these are called like the knockout strappy sandal um and these again i tried these ones on yesterday and they are really really cute um so if like the nude ones aren't really for me i will go for these in a nude because they've got this stretchy well, it's not stretchy but you can kind of manipulate the string to how much you need so i think that's really helpful because it's not gonna be super tight but again it's got that really nice pyramid heel really strappy on the front they had these in a gorgeous like sky blue which i really wanted but they didn't have my size in stock so i just got the white but i thought they're really handy because white heels look, look nice with lots of things so i grabbed those and then lastly i picked up a pair of wedges because I haven't had a pair of wedges in years and again I just find them easy to walk in so these are the nude a-list heels that they're called um again in a size six and these I thought these would be so nice for holiday as well I mean not that I'm going on a holiday anytime soon again they have got the strappiness on the front so I'm gonna have to try them on and see how they fit um but I don't know if you can see that here but they're just gorgeous diamond detail all the way around the wedge but anyway there's like a strap there's like a strap that goes up around your ankle um so i thought they'd be really nice to try as well i think wedges are so much easier to walk in and again they'd be really nice on holiday with a gorgeous bikini or something like a beach party a beach club um so yeah i thought they were really really cute and then lastly but by no means least i picked up three pairs of socks as i mentioned now these are just <laughs> I don't really know why I got these. I didn't need any more socks, but I just thought they were funny. So I've got this pair, which is a pink, like, sports sock style. And, and these say, leave me alone, which, you know, when I'm grumpy, that's going to be perfect to wear. And then I've also got these ones, which say, first class bitch. <laughs> um, and then I've got another pair that say, I don't give a... You can read that for yourself. <laughs> um, but I just thought they'd be quite funny to wear so I picked those up so that is everything that I picked up from Ego I hope you liked the video I'm obviously only going to try them on now but I'll probably put that into the video as and when I show you the items um, I may also um, I don't know I don't know what I was going to say there I really don't know um, but yeah so I'm going to send back that blue bag I'm not sure if I'm going to send anything else back so I don't know if obviously all the shoes fit um, and I'm going to try them all on and I'll show you and I'll kind of do like a thumbs up or thumbs down so you know what I think um but yeah so I really like that video let me know what you guys thought of the shoes if there's any in particular that you want to try if there's anything that you've seen on there that you think I should try do let me know below um but yeah let me know your thoughts like I said if you enjoyed the video don't Get to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe as well before you leave and um, any questions let me know below i look forward to seeing you all in my next video just a reminder as well that my giveaway is still open until the end of the month with the revolution stuff make sure you go and jump over to my instagram all the rules are over there and i look forward to announcing the winner I look forward to seeing you guys soon and i hope you have a lovely day whatever day it is you're watching this